So when I'm doing this, I'm not thinking, you know, dagger strokes or anything like that or dots or, you know, that's not what I'm mentally thinking in my head. You know, I'm just focused on, on how the paint leaves the airbrush. You know, I've seen some people when they're learning before, um, I think maybe that's one of the things they get hung up on. Um, as teachers, uh, we a lot of times will will come up with explanations for some of our, you know, our strokes that we take with the airbrush because people are, I don't know, it makes it easier to understand for people. But uh, I think a lot of times um, they get taken too literally. Uh, like if someone says to do dagger strokes or... Uh, you know, stipples or cross hatching or figure eight patterns or something like that. Uh, when they, when we describe or when your teachers describe um, different, you know, strokes that they want you to practice over and over, you know, it's like here practice squiggles or whatever. They're not saying that when you go to, you know, apply that onto your painting that you should be consciously thinking squiggle, 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 squiggle. You know, that's not what you need to be thinking in your head. In your head, you need to just be watching the paint leave the needle and checking your reference constantly to make sure that whatever is, the paint is doing as it leaves your airbrush is exactly what, you know, is the best interpretation for, uh, for the piece. Don't be so focused on on strokes. When they tell you to practice, when somebody says practice dagger strokes or circles or whatever, they, they're just trying to give you the muscle memory uh, to get your hand to be relaxed and to kind of subconsciously go to those types of strokes. But that don't mean that, you, like I said again, they don't mean that you need to go and sit there and, you know, in your brain be going, you know, dagger, 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 dagger. Just watch you know, you, 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 you want it to be subconscious. And that comes from practice. That's why there's all those, you know, practice um, methods, I guess, that people will show you. I personally, and I don't mean this to discredit anything that you've learned before. I just, I'm just talking on a personal basis. I never actually practiced anything as far as uh, trigger control with... Uh, my airbrush. Everything I ever did with it was always, um, I always just watched the paint and I did what came natural which was follow my reference. So there was never a, you know, never a thought as to, you know, any further than that. So uh, what I guess what I'm saying is the practice is very necessary, yeah, but it doesn't mean that it needs to be so literal because I never actually practiced before. I just jumped right into it. I practiced while painting, which I know isn't recommended for a lot of people. I know a lot of times when you go into lessons, they want you to sit there and they do these different strokes. And this is mainly for like t-shirt artists and stuff like that, which it's very necessary for t-shirt art. But for the, what I'm doing right here, uh, the main practice you need to do is because it, it is pay attention to your reference and it is frustrating as a teacher like you know when you you're trying to teach a student something when you go to like classes or whatever and uh, they're struggling with just pulling the trigger on the airbrush so when you do go to classes um, and learn on a personal level with somebody it is always good to have a lot of uh, trigger time before you go so you're not you know wasting your money on the whole time and you're just trying to learn how to pull the trigger when you go to those classes so you know get some practice in ahead of time so that way when you go to these classes you can get the most out of them and you can focus on what's important and that's you know being able to reproduce a, a picture not pull the trigger anyway that's my little baby rant about that it's just something I noticed from watching Facebook and you know, being out in it and, and uh, you know, having people come and ask me to give them personal lessons. And, and I see the whole time we're just sitting there worrying about how they, how they pull the trigger. And I never actually get to teach them anything. 
you know, just because they're not prepared for the lesson.